Hello guys, beautiful Tuesday, and there you go, this is interesting, like this, this guy rolling his balls, yeah, they do that to, for their coordination. Um, so, just had a really good gym session with um, Mr. Lee, this guy, every day, he teaches these little kids like fitness and it's really good. There you go. That might be a potential thumbnail. Maybe this way. That might be better. Hair yeah, needs work. Potentially. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he's had a good gym sesh with Mr. Lee. And... <laughs> and then uh, I've, yeah, trained my chest today. And then I had a boxing this morning with my boxing coach. By the way, you can see my face at the moment. That is not from boxing. <laughs> Although I did get hit a few times this morning. It's actually, there's this thing in Chinese medicine, culture, they call it shang huo, which means like inflammatory. So I think recycling. There we go, recycling. Uh, so I think I've picked up, I think from my diet, I've picked up some inflammatory stuff. So that's why I've got like, for the first time since I was probably about 16, I've got a spot on my nose. And I got this on my cheek, which is, I think, a pimple spot underneath the skin. So yeah, I'm not... <laughs> Most influencers are like, oh, look at my... I'm, I'm perfect, but I wanted to show you guys in an in a, you know, unfiltered light. So yeah, this is probably the better angle, right? If I film from that way, it might be better. <laughs> this, uh, this angle is like Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> it's like Two-Face. That side, not the best. This side, Shui. Bull shry, so you can see that. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, um, maybe I'll, I'll film from that way. You can see the better angle of my face at the moment. It does look like I've been in a boxing match this side, but so yeah, I've got a bit. I, I honestly think it's because of my diet. So, as you know, I did that video on my cinema experience, which is blowing up right now. Uh, if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. So, I went to watch the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And I've been pretty good in the last few years when I go to the cinema and watch a movie. I tend to not get snacks and things because it's like the worst thing you can do is like go to the cinema and just munch on popcorn and sweets. And anyway, I hadn't done it in a while and I thought, eh, hey, I'll, I'll buy some. I'll get some um, Doritos and some sweets. You know, all, all the, the worst things you can eat. And anyway, I think it's because I ate those things and I had a Coca-Cola. This is what it did to my face. So <laughs> it's a, all, all the more reason not to eat that crappy food. Stick to the diet. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I've got Shanghua, which is like <laughs> inflammatory. I think it's from that diet stuff because I was fine before that. I ate that on, when did I watch the Kingdom of the Planet Apes? Yeah, Saturday? And then this has just developed in the next few days. I've got, my face has got to be fit and ready for Friday because I'm filming a pretty big video with a, I've signed a new partnership here in China. So my face has got to look good. So um, yeah, I just, uh, I'll eat healthy food the next few days and see where to go from there. I can cover this up with a bit of makeup, but yeah guys, I wanted to show you proper, unfiltered my life here in China. So it's been a good day for business. Uh, did a lot of outreach. I've got some meetings lined up. Potential Saudi client uh, wants to have a call with me this week, which is good. I signed another school today, another independent school, UK school that I've been speaking to for, God, over six months now. And finally, they've gone for the deal, which I'm absolutely delighted about. Lovely people, it's just, Sometimes the decision makers in this, they tend to stall things. But anyway, got there in the end, so I'll be supporting them with their WeChat. 
here in China. So delighted. And it just takes, you know, it, it's, uh, <laughs> little kid was shouting, Wagoran, which like, he's a foreigner. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so like I said, I think I explained to you guys in my earlier vlogs a few months ago that sometimes when you're going through a bit of a, a rough patch, you know, when it comes to your business or your work, is the, the best thing to do is just work through it. Don't feel like, oh, I'm defeatist. And I felt a little bit like Easter was really horrible. <laughs> For my business, I like, took a month of just. Um, actually, that might be a good thumbnail with the lion. What do you think? Might be. Maybe, or maybe that side. Is it better that side? Maybe we'll see. I don't know. Some options. Um, so yeah, in Easter, it was a pretty rough time for my business. Just in the UK, everyone just went on holiday for a month and it was really annoying. But now everyone's kind of come back and I've just like one, it's like domino effect. Like one deal after another, it's got like bam, 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 bam. So that's good. The Panda Profits podcast, the latest episode is doing really well. So check that out. It's with Josh Gardner, CEO of Kung Fu Data. Really great podcast episode because he's storytelling and um yeah it was, it was a good episode so it's just building on that kind of success now and what's the plan for this week plan is to just work work gym i feel like everything's kind of lined up at the moment as far as i've got a good gym partner good boxing coach business is going quite well uh i've got a decent videographer who's consistent with the podcast and we're you know we're banging out these podcast episodes and getting them done and yeah it's just onwards and upwards right guys just working hard making sure you make the most of it uh and finding your rhythm finding what you want to do i spoke to a couple of really good friends recently a good friend of mine in australia he was saying, hey, I should come out to Australia. Maybe not at the moment, because it's a bit cold. I spoke to another friend of mine in the UK, and both of them have created content in the past. And I said to him, you should really get on the content stuff. Like, keep keep on it. Like, keep creating that content and and um, finding your, your rhythm, right? Finding your... Getting something up every week, because the YouTube and all these platform algorithms... They all work on, you've got to get something up every week. You've got to feed the machine. So I had a chat with them. One is a chef and the other one, he's in property in Australia. I said to him, like, you've got to get the content up. But they, um, I don't know, hopefully they prove me wrong and start making the content. But they've just got, they're both very intelligent, charismatic funny individuals i think they just got so much value to give uh so yeah if i inspire people to make content great that's always a, a plus uh what else have i been up to i've been playing my guitar a fair amount so getting that hour done every day quite loud <laughs> like me uh so Studying every day, studying a bit of. Um, been quite good with the Chinese recently. The Spanish, I really need to find. It's always, always every day about finding those balances, right? Maybe, maybe a thumbnail. I don't know. Finding the little. Um, yeah, like right now. I was discussing this with um, my English friend yesterday. You know, he, he said, oh, I've just got into pickleball, like pickleball, tennis and, you know, like pe pickleball and and uh, got a nice group of friends. And right now in Shanghai, I don't really, f I feel like that's something that's kind of lacking in my life. Like, I've got a really good, I've got a good set of acquaintances and business, you know, business people that I know. But that good set of mates that I hang out with once a week, once every two weeks that... 
you know, we go out for a drink. Something's kind of lacking in my life. And do I want something like that? I don't know. But it's something that um, when you have a business, sometimes friendships and things kind of take a bit of a backseat because you've got to focus on these things. Oh, how ting. Oh, sounds nice. Very nice. So, oh, I'll show you these cats. Hello. That's what I know, like people singing like that. So, yeah, I mean, it's, that's always what I'm trying to get, guys, is the balance. And this is a great great episode for that this vlog is all about balance whether it be my diet or my face or my business or i haven't traveled really recently i'm going to wuxi on friday and i guess i can make that announcement um which will be an interesting trip um and yeah just finding that balance in life business is is really key oh could that be a nice thumbnail. I thought with the sunlight, I just caught the sunlight there. There you go. That looks pretty cool. Maybe, we'll see. I got my bad side. <laughs> Never mind. So, yeah, it's something I'm always contemplating. Find that balance. Are you working too hard or not enough? Are you working out Stretching, I need to get back more on stretching as well. So there's all these things you've got to, got to consider. Let me know what you guys think. You know, finding that balance. What do you guys do, you know, every day? What's your balance? It's a lovely dog. I like that dog. There you go. It's like a, like a collie. It's going to a collie. This is an interesting thing here in China. You see these? Maybe the other way. I always forget which angle it is. Is it that way or that way? God, my chin is really bad. You can see it guys, it looks like I've been punched, didn't it? Anyway, um, these are for the community, like elderly, you should use that to work out and... Yeah, I feel like at the moment I've got a fairly good balance. I need to definitely do more traveling, maybe. I find that with the friendship side, I tend to hang out with people when it's part of an activity. And I don't know if that's a case of me just getting older or having a business, that friendships, they, you know, my, my, my father said this to me one time, is your friendship groups get smaller and smaller as you get older because people don't have time friend of mine messaged me this morning and uh he he said oh my my wife's pregnant and i was like oh fantastic news that's great um but you think about that you know having a baby that's really gonna you know add you know your time you really have to manage the time then and I, I th like it's something that you'd have to work on. I'm not ready right now for that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm just, build, just building a business. But it's certainly something that I want eventually. So, yeah, balance. That's a good topic for this. Having the right balance and uh, whether it be diet, your routine, your work, working out, food, uh, friendships, relationships. I think there's another one over here. Let me show you this. So these, yeah, these are kind of like little outdoor gyms, which I'm seeing a lot more now in, in the UK. Maybe, it might be a good thumbnail. Um, I'm seeing a lot more of those in the UK. I'm actually, my little... Where my father lives in the UK, they've got one of those now, like almost like an outdoor gym. Which in the UK, it's, it's cold most of the time. I don't know how people can really use it, but. Anyway, guys, share your thoughts below. Let me know what you think. Uh, like, subscribe. 
and um, yeah, I appreciate your comments, guys. I know there's a big, there's a nice debate going on right now in my cinema video, the cinema vlog. Um, some people going a bit too extreme, considering it's just people talking in a cinema, but it's created some nice debate. Um, I think everybody can agree you shouldn't really be talking in a cinema, but I was speaking to my boxing coach this morning and he said something really interesting. He said, he was saying when he first came to China 10 years ago, everybody was talking in the cinema, which I don't remember. I don't really remember that, but, um, uh, but yeah, maybe, you know, the culture is changing now. People are in China becoming more quiet. The biggest issue I have is the use, usage of the phone, which I think, like I said, I haven't been to the UK in a while. I don't remember people using their phones in the cinema, but I'm sure it's a thing. But uh, anyway, lots of food for thought. Anyway, guys, gonna end it there. Ni hao, mei nu. Ni hao. So, uh, that's my lady that does all my rubbish. So guys, gonna cut it there. Appreciate the support. As I mentioned, drop a comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Try not to make these too political. It's just my life here in China. People are taking things a bit too seriously with these vlogs. It's just a little bit of fun and showing my life and seeing if I could grow something new. But uh, day 54, I think we're on to now, which is good. So, anyway, guys, jai yo. Take care, make the most of your day. You doing something? What? What? Pie pie. Oh, can you eat? Oh, they're doing a bit of fruit picking. There you go. So, make one, she. So, uh, yeah. I might do a little bit of that one day, so. Do you have any? Do you have any? Yes, I'm going to do a little bit. If I do a little bit, there's no one else. Because... Do you have any rice? Do you have any rice? I don't know if I'm going to do it. I'll do it. Alright. Why do you want to stay here and learn? You can stay here and learn. You can stay here and learn. Thank you. 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 加油！我我羡慕你的，你教他们，你这么厉害，啊、uh, ，加油 ！I say I admire, I admire what he's doing. He's teaching those kids. Right. Anyway, guys, we're gonna cut it there. Finally, uh, we we finally got there, guys. But I thought I'd uh, stay until the end. Stay until the end of this conversation. Anyway, guys, love you. Take care, jail. Make the most of it. Drop a comment, praise, criticize, and uh, I'll see you in the next vlog. Jail. Take care. Bye bye. Take care.